Now come the step where I section the tooth. But before I show you how to section the tooth during the surgery, let me explain it to you with the help of a 3D animation. I have created this 3D mandible with an impacted tooth. You can see that the third molar is horizontally impacted and is locked by the second molar. Let's zoom in further. As always, I first create a gutter, buckle and distal to the impacted tooth. Then with the HP6 round bar, I create two ditches on the buckle surface of the tooth as close to the cemento enamel junction as possible. I prefer sectioning of the tooth at the CJ level because the cementum is easier to cut whereas enamel is very difficult to cut. Then with the 702 straight bar, I connect those ditches to create a section. At this point, the section is not complete as the bar reaches only till the half the width of the tooth buccolingually. So I widen the section with the wider 703 bar. Now with the wider section, it will be easier to access the lingual half of the tooth with the 702 bar. The section that I created is a little dark and we cannot see inside the section. Let's brighten it up. You can see that 1 to 2 mm tooth structure is intact on the inferior side and the lingual side of the tooth. This is done to prevent injury to the inferior lower nerve and lingual nerve. For more details on this, you can read this article. I place the coupland elevator inside the section and rotate it. This fractures the section and separates the crown and root. The crown is then removed from the socket. To remove the roots, I place a cryer elevator inside the distal gutter and push the roots out of the socket. So that's how I am going to remove this horizontally impacted third molar. Now this technique is quite difficult to execute with a straight surgical handpiece. Also, I never expect the cut that I place on the tooth to be straight buccolingually with a straight handpiece. It is possible only when you use a contra-angle handpiece. Many oral surgeons prefer hemisection of the tooth because it is easier to do with a straight handpiece. It is their preference and I totally support it. 